Hello everyone. In this INR number 36, we are going to discuss about Swire syndrome. So what is Swire syndrome? It is a disorder of sexual development which is caused by defect in the SRY gene. Remember, SRY gene will be having mutation and what is the location of SRY gene? This is located on chromosome number Y. Remember, this is important MCQ. Chromosome number Y, which area? So remember, it is the short arm of the chromosome number Y. So chromosome Y short arm is having SRY gene which will be having defect and that defect is SRY gene defect, right? So because of this, Swire syndrome will be having, right, presentation. So what is the Swire syndrome? If you look at the karyotyping, their karyotyping will be 46XY. Remember, it is a male type of karyotyping, 46XY. But when you are going to look at them, they are phenotypically tall female. Remember, phenotypically tall stature female will be there. So that is very important. So what is karyotyping? 46XY. Phenotypically, they are tall female. Right. And what will they have? They will have functional female genitalia. Remember, the female genitalia like a uterus, fallopian tube, all these things, you know, vagina, they will be functional, right? So they will be functional. So functional female genitalia and a structure will be there. As I said, vagina, uterus and fallopian tube, right? Vagina, uterus and fallopian tube, they are normally present. But the problem is they will have no ovaries. So they will be lacking ovaries, right? So there are no ovaries into them. Because of this, what will happen? They are having no ovaries. So normal childhood and development they will have till the time of puberty understand till the time of puberty they will be having normal childhood development but because of no ovaries what will happen now they will be presenting at the uh, at the time of puberty with primary amenorrhea and there will be no development of secondary sexual characteristic right because there is no ovary so when they will come to the age of uh, puberty they will be presenting with amenorrhea and when you are going to examine them you will find that there are no secondary sexual characteristic in this patient so how we are going to manage this patient for management of this patient we are going to see the hormone replacement therapy right hormone replacement therapy what we will do we will give only estrogen for one year so that it can help in breast development and then we will add estrogen and progesterone throughout the life right here uh, you have to understand gonadectomy is a very important why i'm saying gonadectomy is very important because these syndromes they will have high risk of the germ cell tumor so increased risk of germ cell tumor will be there like a gonadoblastoma and dysgerminoma that is why they should be having gonadectomy also right so what is the management hormone replacement therapy by estrogen and progesterone and then gonadectomy to prevent the germ cell tumor like gonadoblastoma or dysgerminoma. So this is all about Swire syndrome. One is one of the very important PYQ in INICT exam. So keep revising this. Best wishes for your exams.